Welcome back to Quickie Wiki What. I'm Joseph, joined as usual by my partner, Justin. Every episode, we bring to the table a Wikipedia article we found interesting and discuss our findings. We are streaming this episode live on Twitch. Hello to the chat. Uh, but you'll also be able to find the VOD on YouTube afterwards, as well as the audio wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, Justin. Hey, what's going on? Let's get into it. Oh, we didn't figure out what we were going to... Justin wants to start doing historical reenactments. Oh, yeah, doing historical reenactments. That's going to be... maybe. You know, I we, don't think that you should be, do that on the fly, so we should rehearse it maybe for next little, week. I think it'd be good. We, I we, don't we know if like you can do it. a little bit? On the, okay, if we get inspired... But you know, you pay you, if you find something that's like, don't do, don't do anything do that's going to get me terms of service, you know, set my channel on fire, oh. et cetera. <laughs> that's what someone said. I, like, I'm giving off Saul Goodman vibes. I'll I'll get you out of it. Better what is call that? Saul. Better call Saul. Yeah. That, the finale's oh. on tonight. It's Monday oh. night. When we're recording this, but I'm not going to be able to watch it till tomorrow because I watch it on. I have it. Uh, I order the episodes on YouTube. So. Well, uh, today, though, we will be talking about pants, a brief history of pants. Mm -hmm. There's a pun in there. Brief. Brief. Get it? Briefs. It kind of makes sense. It's pretty funny. And then... um, (laughs) When someone explains it, when someone explains the joke, it's pretty funny. That is you 101, (laughs) isn't it? Is that what's wrong with you? Maybe. I don't know. (laughs) One of the things. Uh, A brief history of pants, a.k.a. trousers. In the UK and other places. Yeah. Um, but we'll get into the lingo in just a minute. Do you have any show news? So show news, it's some follow-up from last last episode. We talked about spontaneous human combustion. But just as a precursor to that, we talked about spontaneous combustion. And guess who dealt with that? Who dealt with that? Yeah. Combustion? My dad. He worked on a farm, and we, one oh, of the examples yeah, we okay. gave was about hay can do spontaneous. It can spontaneously combust. I thought this was like me learning your dad blew up no, or something no. uh, live uh, on air. <laughs> oh, well, I hope not. I, don't know. <laughs> I was like, well, did you not tell me? See, <laughs> you tell so many things live on the podcast that I just never know if it's something you forgot to tell me in private. Oh uh, yeah, but no. So they well, would okay, yeah. put down salt on the hay bales to soak up the water so that it wouldn't. And yeah, then, and the layers, yeah, and that's why they do it. I, I was salt just kind of like, yeah. and water, so it doesn't catch up. Does salt not burn? Well, I think it just takes the moisture or something. Like oh, that. okay, that makes sense. So, like a slug. Yeah, which I, is me. Yes. So, um, yeah, or, I don't know what or my it kills pappy the did. chemical reaction at least. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Ask, ask, um, ask a firefighter if pouring salt on a fire is right for you. Do it. No, don't ask them. Just do it. No, you better ask them. <laughs> you better ask them. Safety first. I'm pretty sure it does, that wouldn't do anything to an already burning. It would prevent spontaneous combustion, but I don't think it would put out a fire. But I don't know. I ain't no fireman. That's why we're telling them to ask a fireman. Well, um, should we get started on pants? On well, pants? Are we wearing pants right now? Well, that's... Stay, you'll have to stay... If you're watching this live on Twitch, if you're watching the video stream of it, you'll find out at the end. There'll be a reveal. We'll tease it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay, so, so we were... I forgot if... You what? I forgot. If you're wearing them? Yeah. You don't know. Just look down and do a shocked face. <laughs> Okay, we weren't we weren't sure what to name this episode before we settled on a brief history of pants. Justin, I know you have some alternate names that you're just dying ah! to tell. Oh, dying Everybody. like dying your pants. Oh, it's a very loose joke. That's pretty. Yeah, uh, loose fit trousers. Loose though. fit trousers. Yeah. Okay, continue. That's a stretch. No. Stretch denim. Yeah. Okay, continue. Go go on with your names list. So, and this is interesting because when you go look up pants on Wikipedia, it redirects to trousers. Right. It's not, so, it's, it's I guess in, in Which Great is Britain, British English. It's British and the, I guess pants is kind of more like in the UK, more like underpants. Yeah, it says in the UK, the word, we're, so this is, if you want to look this up on Wikipedia, it is trousers. 
Uh, it says in the UK, the word pants generally means underwear and not trousers. Ooh. That's also with the same way that um, I don't want to offend any British people in here, but we went through this before on a, well, <laughs> that's fine. And uh, on a Twitch stream of mine, because I was talking about fanny packs. And fanny does not mean mm. butt. In in America, fanny is your butt. Mm-hmm. And it's a very simple word. And it does not mean butt in the UK. Does not. From what I understand. I learned that from extras. Or I gathered that when I, from what I watched oh, extras. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Um. Well, say the names. All right. So, Trouser Talk. That would have been good. The Past of Pants. Because we're doing a little bit of history. Sure. Or... Similarly, maybe you know about pants of the past. That would have been good. That would have been good. Trouser trivia. Yeah. Pants more than just a place to poop. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. And then, then the name of the episode would be what I'm not wearing right now. Oh, okay. Pants. Pants. I feel like there was another one. You there, you know, I was trying to remember. There was like, there were some, not that those aren't good. Those are, but I feel like there were some real contenders. They probably weren't as good as those. But at the (laughs) in the end, we said, uh, keep, let's, you know, we don't want to confuse people. Let's keep it simple. Yeah. A brief history of pants because this is quickie wiki what, Mm -hmm. and uh, it will be brief. Very brief. There was a very boring part of this Wikipedia. I just had to. Yeah, we're skipping it. We're not doing. We're just. Pulling I the highlights highlighted some it. things that I thought were cool, and then the rest, I said, nobody cares. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Um, so let's talk about them. Let's talk about pants. And when we talk about pants, we're talking about long pants, Tr- long trousers, as opposed to short trousers in the UK or shorts. Yeah. And but going back, so the history. Oh, yeah. The oldest known trousers. The oldest known. How old do you think they are? Me? Yeah. Well, I know. Well, how old do you think? The period between the 13th and 10th centuries BC were found at the Yanghai Cemetery in Turpan, uh, Xinjiang, in present-day western China. They were made of wool, had straight legs, and wide crotches, Mm -hmm. and were likely made for horseback riding. That's right. So pants over 3,000 years old. Yeah, it seems like from reading this, okay, so the Wikipedia page is broken up into several sections. Mm-hmm. You've got terminology, types of pants. Didn't read it. No. You've got, <laughs> and then the history I enjoyed. So the history part I liked the most. And the then it goes to parts of trousers. And I said, I... That's not for me. It says that's broken down into pleats, cuffs, flies, and trouser support. That sounds like, so I went to, you know, I went to fashion school. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like we took like fashion history classes. I had to take a lot of fashion history. Um, That just sounds like those. And it was boring then. And the most boring, boring day of fashion school. I love, probably fashion history classes were my favorite out of oh, all my classes. Oh, wow. okay. But... When you break things down to like pleats, cuffs, mm-hmm. fly, not for me. Yeah. Um, then there's a society section, which I don't remember. And then the laws section, mm-hmm. laws regarding pants, which I found very interesting as well. So mostly we're going to be talking about the history and the laws, I think. Yeah. But if you want to, if you want to know what pants are, that's a whole different discussion. Yeah. I did find it interesting. There are Wikipedia pages for one, uh, women in women in trousers mm-hmm. and men in skirts. Mm. Because there's obviously a long history of like, oh, are women supposed to wear pants? And then like it was the total norm back in like the Greek and Roman days. Pants were well, well, I'll not talk the about Greeks. A little later, the yeah. Greeks thought it was ridiculous. Yeah, but we'll get into that. Okay, let's go to the prehistory well, of I, pants. Oh, I was going to say, like, what, like, why pants? And why not pants? <laughs> I you guess know? the alternative is not pants. 
Well, what are the why? Why did they? Because you kind of think about it. You think about the Egyptians. Starting off with like maybe like why not pants? And this is from someone from like fashion school. Pants, a, as opposed to something like a tunic, as opposed to oh, like what I do a, not a robe. Think- I am very much in the boat of like pants are kind of not the move for a in for a lot. Of, I can see how they are the move and like line, like depending on your line of work or whatever mm-hmm. you want to wear pants. If you're riding a horse, if you're like, I don't know, um, certain manual labor need pants probably. But for like staying cool. Yeah, it's not really the move. Just right. walking to the grocery store and whatever. I am very much in the boat of um, everybody wears whatever they want. It's all just fabric. And in reality, there are two naked people in this room right now covered by some fabric. Yep. And who cares what kind of fabric you're wearing? Society wants to be like, never show yourself naked. We don't want to see your private parts. But we want you to wear clothing that tells us exactly what your private parts are. And it's like, what the fuck? Let's it's, just they try to, show it. Everything tries to be like sexualized or about sex and yeah. it's just gender. And you're just like, just wear whatever you want. Your limitations. Oh, now I'm just going on a soap. I'm just going off on a rant. Yeah. But it's just it's just fabric. If you walk into a store and you don't see like men's section, women's section. There's so many more opportunities. Wear what you want. So not only that, but I'll get into what as you've made clothes. Yeah. What's easier to make, a robe or pants? Let me tell you. You get <laughs> you get 3 yards of jersey knit, a stretch fabric. You sew a tube and you just pull it up over your body. There you go. And it stretches to whatever form you are, and you just walk into the world and live your life. But also, even like compared to like shirts, you go to get like a t shirt, even like most, you, you can get very specifically sized like dress shirts. You can be like small, medium, large. Pants, you typically got to go, particularly long trousers. Oh. You got to be like, you got to have exact 32 da, 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 the, and the inseam. The waist size matters a lot. The inseam matters and the link, like the, you know. Further, like when you like gain 10 pounds or something like that, your pants don't fit anymore. And I think pants oh my God. are like a capitalist scam. I yeah, love that. That is. I have, so for um, pregnant people, they have the button extenders. And I have a pair that I wear with a pair of my shorts that I'm refusing to give up. Mm-hmm. I gained ten. I'm not. I gained like seven pounds, five pounds in but the past it's couple years. Good weight. Good. No. Well, I'm very comfortable with it. Yeah. But there's these pair of shorts I don't want to let go of, and so I bought one of the button extenders that makes it a little makes the waist a little bit wider. But I'm gonna need to get new shorts. There you go. Anyway. Let's talk about this capitalist scam. The prehistory, where it began. Where did it begin? So um, the Wikipedia talks about the prehistory, talks about there's some figurative art uh, from the upper Paleolithic. Uh, Some figurines were found at Siberian sites. Um, And it says that the, the construction, the fabrics, they were very fragile. They disintegrated easily. So there's not a lot that have been like found, found. And the oldest known ones, uh, like I mentioned earlier, are from the Yanghai uh, Cemetery in Western China. Um, and it says, made of wool, straight legs, wide crotches. They really, oh, it says likely made for horseback riding. Yeah. And that was seemed to be kind of yeah. like one of the main reasons that, you know, talked about the advantages of pants, but having, you know, any time that, or the disadvantages of pants, but being on a horseback um, that makes a lot of sense where you're kind of like you, you want something to cover. Or if you're like, um, particularly long trousers, if you are doing like, if you're like a farmer or something like that and you're, it's a little bit of extra protection for your legs from getting scraped from getting, and there's mobility of that too, you know? Right. However, I play Elder Scrolls online. Oh, and you, that's the olden days. 
you straddle your mount no matter what garment you're wearing. Oh. You stretch that. The textures are so bad. They stretch like a a little robe over like a griffin. Mm. So it's not really. Well, I saw on TikTok too that there were that women you know, we'll find out they weren't allowed to wear pants for right. some whatever reason. So that's why women would go side saddle so much because they were they were wearing dresses and not pants. Well, let's get into antiquity. Yeah. Um, where this is recorded history in the yeah. 6th century BC, they talk about uh, rock carvings and the appearance of horse riding Eurasian nomads in Greek ethnography. So they talk about people um, uh, from the Iranian region called the Scythians, Sarmatians, Sogdians, and Bactrians. Pronunciation not uh, looked up. Um, along with Armenians and Eastern and Central Asian peoples uh, were known to have worn trousers. And then they talk about the ancient Greeks and they talk about how the, they didn't really do trousers. They thought it was ridiculous. Yeah. They called them a sack, essentially, in a slang way. Um, and they thought, not, you know, not greatly of them. Because their region that they lived in. And that was just kind of like all cultures... Kind of did that. They were always, we're the best. Everything else is silly and more so than today even. Good thing that's changed. Yeah. 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 Um, I didn't. I didn't read the medieval Europe part. Well, for well, then the Romans. The Romans (laughs) kind of had the same attitude where they were like, oh, we don't want to do that. But but then eventually, as Rome spread further and further away from Italy, then they adopted the Roman Empire adopted pants. And then Charlemagne, this was long after, you know, in 800 uh, AD slash CE, he wore, he wore pants most of the time, but would start make, but would start wearing tunics like for ceremonial purposes and things like that. But that is around the time, supposedly that there, that I saw on Wikipedia, at least that, that they started doing like underpants. So you would wear like mm. a tunic and then you'd wear something underneath that's more pants like and there's the benefits they loved of the layering. And stuff. Yeah. England, all about layering. Multiple layers. Yeah. Probably five or six pairs of underpants. Probably. Um, and then where do we go from there? Well, but then that and then because I will say, like, that's all, you know, we talked a little bit about China, but then mostly about kind of Western culture. Right. And then I think, I think kind of to talk about the history of that, and this is, this is definitely a Western slant, but it's also like, we're getting ready to kind of uh, say some unflattering things about uh, the West here in the 20th century. (laughs) Well, it is wild to me how some, like, we're talking in the past, like, 30, 40 years that laws have changed so that women can wear pants yeah like it's in our lifetime that groundbreaking pants for everybody has happened (laughs) like it's wild um it does talk about um so peter the great of russia issued a decree in 1701 commanding every russian man other than clergy and peasant farmers to wear trousers so it's like a you know Pants are rolling. There's wow. like when was laws that? and decrees being made about pants. And you see it through like all of history. Decrees about what people wear. Yeah. Essentially. Well, I skipped ahead to the 20th century. So if you have anything. Um, I, I, I highlighted the part that talked about sailors. It was It didn't even have a citation. It so, said sailors may that all the better. <laughs> sailors may have played a role in the worldwide dissemination of trousers as a fashion. Uh, they wore baggy trousers essentially, and mm. they also pioneered wearing jeans, which then became popular in the American West. Okay, because of their durability. I never would imagine a sailor wearing jeans. I don't know. They seem like they would be very heavy when they're wet, but who knows? Yeah, heavy when they're wet, and then like, although. I don't know, like if you're constantly scraping your knees up against the wood, maybe you do want them to be 
because that's why you you would wear a, you know it's thicker as like a cowboy or whatever you're but it seems yeah that things like better yeah the for, american like, west in general though is kind of like not how it's portrayed well that's true it's kind of like was never like that yeah it's a capitalist scam yeah <laughs> Um, okay, so you, where did you get into? Did you get into women wearing trousers? Yeah, and so that's kind of like around 20th century. The first I got 1919 is where my timeline starts. Oh, okay. Um, that was Luisa Capetillo. Um, this is in Puerto Rico, which oh, is... Oh, right. So that's technically the United States, but not still not a state even. Uh, I don't I, know what it was in 1919. I don't know how... It was still part of United States somehow, okay. but... Um, so she challenged mainstream society by becoming the first woman in Puerto Rico to wear trousers in public. And guess what her punishment was? Jail. She got sent to jail for what was considered to be a crime, but then the charges later were dropped. But still, just to get a sense of how serious people thought it was, the just over a hundred years ago that a woman just in public, just being out walking around the streets in America or in the, you know, under the United States system, wearing pants and gets thrown in jail. Um, it also talks about, um, it says in Western society, it was Eastern culture that inspired Paul Poiret, who was a French designer to be one of the first to design pants for women. So that was in 1913. Oh. There was some loose fitting wide leg trousers that those were harem pants. Oh. And they were, so there was a popular ballet at the time and they were based on the costumes from that, which were um, based on a collection of legends from the Middle East. So wide leg pants kind of fits in with that. Um, and then it talks about early 20th century. So this would have been 1930s. You had Marlene Dietrich, Catherine Hepburn. They started wearing trousers. Um, and then also women were working as pilots and also working in like factories and stuff during the war. During yeah, World wearing, War II, that then it got very commonplace right. to be wearing pants because... They for were, for the, all the functional reasons, purposes, yeah, like working in a factory, your your dress is going to get sucked into machinery. It's not going to, you know, work out well. Um, and then we have some milestones, and this is like, you know, ask your parents. This is literally <laughs> in their lifetime. Yeah, nineteen sixty nine, Representative Charlotte Reed, the first woman to wear trousers in Congress. Wow. Pat Nixon, uh, first American first lady to wear trousers in public. Now that when was Nixon? That he was like in the sixties and seventies, so it'd have been right around that time. It, it could have been. Um, it didn't give a date for when Pat Nixon did that, but that's yeah. Out of America yeah. was like two hundred years old at the time, and the first first lady to wear pants in public yeah. was in the sixties. Not the, 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 yeah, the first lady, the not first, the, first lady, not the first woman, but yeah. like the, for our foreign wife. audience, the president, the first lady is the president's wife. And then if you can guess Hillary Clinton, the first woman to wear trousers in an official American first lady portrait. Yeah. She really branded the pantsuit. Yeah. And I love it. And, you know, I think people, it was kind of a trivial thing. And people would kind of comment and it's kind of like funny. It's kind of like, oh, Hillary's wearing a pantsuit again. And it was, it was just kind of like, no one, no one, I don't know, no not one, as a criticism. Men wear a suit. Every, every man on that stage is wearing a, the same fucking suit. Do you know what I mean? It's like, let people wear what they want to wear. But it, but it is interest just in her lifetime, especially like to when we'll go over oh, some of these yeah. dates in our lifetime. Some of these, so 1989. Um, so we talked about 1969, the first U.S. representative. It wasn't 20 years till 20 years later that the first senator, woman senator, wore trousers in the in the state in the U.S. Senate. But then, right. kind of confusingly, she did it. But it was against the rules, I guess. 
because in 1993, up until 1993, women weren't allowed to wear trousers on the Senate floor. 1993, and then Barbara uh, Mikulski and Carol Mosley Braun wore trousers onto the floor in defiance of the Senate rule, and then they changed it so that you could wear pants, but you also had to wear... A lot, a jacket. Yeah. I don't, it would be, is that still a thing? You know, I think they kind of like, you should dress up. It's kind of like, there's a little bit of a dress code to, to I do the hate Senate. dress up culture. I have gone so long in my life. Like I have probably had to dress up. I'm very, very lucky. I've probably had to like get semi formal, like once in the past Five years, maybe, maybe two or three times. And I just hate it. It's always uncomfortable. I hate clothes. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my nudist talk, but I get it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, 93. I mean, we were alive. Yeah. And so we're talking. So I know most of these are Western culture. The Wikipedia definitely <laughs> skews to Western culture when it's talking about pants. And then there were some in other countries that were really awful. That was, this is more taboo and kind of like cultural. There was, yeah, there were some things in places where women can't wear pants. Yeah. Um, in 2019, Virgin Atlantic began to allow flight attendant, the women flight attendants to wear trousers. Oh, wow. 2019. That's three years ago. Um, so, Getting into like laws around this. So the one I found interesting was in 2013, there was this old law uh, in Paris, France, that women had to ask permission from the authorities before, quote, dressing as men, which included wearing trousers, unless they were, quote, holding a bicycle handlebar or the reins of a horse. <laughs> um, and so this was revoked. Um, but yeah, it was originally intended to prevent women from wearing pants well, during, um, it says, with Parisian rebels in the French Revolution. So, wild. Well, you know, that would be, maybe that could be a historical reenactment. Oh, you want to do a French accent? Oh, I, I'll do American. Oui, oui, sir. May I wear my, my pants? Um, my trousers. Your trousers. Okay. Well, I just need. It's to, going a little British. When do you? Okay. When do you? When do you plan on? You need to fill out this form. When do you plan on? Wee oui, wee. Oui. You need advance permission in advance. Voulez-vous que? Avec quoi? Yeah. This one. Oh, oh, <laughs> Christina Aguilera. <laughs> You're alive. That's not the. Do you know what that means? No. Uh, I think it's "Will you come with to me? Will you come to bed with me tonight?" Yeah, oh. isn't that from the song? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, that was our first historical reenact. That We're was gonna so have to, good. Yeah, no, that, that was, was really so bad. That was so good. Christina Aguilera showed up. She filled out the form. Yes, you can, Christina Aguilera. You can wear pants. Ho oh, oh. ho. <laughs> um, the other one I thought was interesting was in 2014. Um, In an Indian family court. Um, So it was ruled that a husband, a husband was objecting to his wife wearing a kurta and jeans and was making her wear a sari. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. I hope I am. Um, But that amounted to cruelty inflicted by the husband and it was grounds to seek divorce. So uh, the wife was granted a divorce because the husband was saying you can't wear jeans. So, I mean, that's 2014. 20, yeah, 2014. Yeah. So there are, there are still, I mean, you know, it's, there is still discussions around the world about what people, what pants you can or cannot wear. Pants discrimination. Wow. Yeah. Good one. That's a good um, so yeah, those are some of the laws. Um, 
Oh, did you see the one in, in 2004? It just blew my mind that these, these are all like 1990 something, 2000, whatever. So a Louisiana, uh, in Louisiana, Democrat state legislator Derek Shepard proposed a bill that would make it a crime mm, oh, to yeah, appear okay. in public wearing trousers below the waist which would expose one's skin or, quote, intimate clothing, your underwear. Yeah. It did not pass. So, um, you know, it's just more laws. Sagging. Trying to take No us. sagging. No sagging. Or low cut. Do you rem- oh, my God. Do you remember the early 2000s? Ooh. How low cut jeans Ooh, were? Oh, yeah. The, and uh, thong. Whale tail. You get a little, yeah, you get a little that come up. Song. Hello. I left it. I said, wear whatever you want. Do it. Well, do you have any, were there any more that struck your fancy? You know, just the, the, it's a brief, it's a brief history of pants. When now, when you're shopping for pants, Justin, what, mm-hmm. what fit are you looking for? You know, a uh, big thing for me is pockets because I put stuff in my pockets, you know, I got, I got my phone in it. So that's one well, thing. Well, there's a difference. Men's jeans versus women's jeans, which I don't believe in. Not that I don't believe in women's jeans. I don't believe that there's a difference yeah. between men's and women's jeans. Cause I'm a, I, a lot of my jeans are women's jeans. Um, pockets. A lot of jeans that are labeled as women's jeans don't have pockets, usable pockets. Yeah. But you like your pockets. I got to have... You've got pocket privilege. I do. And so that's... Every now and again, I'll be like, okay, if they look really, really good, or I just feel like... I know I'm going to be used in a circumstance, but but the... the Yeah, the pockets, having ample pocket room, and then... Um, are we talking straight cut? Are we struggling boot cut? Are we talking slim? You know, are we talking I gotta have, fitted? I, I tend to not... Um, like too tight. It kind of is. A, I think it's just a little restrict. I always feel like I'm going to rip them. Oh yeah. Cause you're hulking out of them. I'm so strong. My, your big thigh muscles yeah. are going to rip them out. No, that's a valid, you know, that's why they usually have stretch in them. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I would describe yours as like, um, not straight leg, but like um like slim, yeah. but not like skinny. Yeah. I like slim and skinny fit. Yeah. For me. Um I they feel awful. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I hate the way they feel. If it were up to me, it is up to me. What <laughs> it is up to me. What's preventing me from going out of the house every day? Like I sit there and I think, what's the what's preventing me? From going out of the house every day and just wearing a potato sack. Because, oh my God, that sounds lovely. Thin and breezy. A thin potato sack. That would be too thin that would and be breezy. Too scratchy. And just get a, okay, well, like a potato sack form. Like a flower sack. Yeah, like a flower sack. Yeah. yeah. Just, with a, just with a cute belt Do to that, cinch it at the waist. Belt. But instead, I've told myself, that these pants are the ones for me. I think you would look good in real baggy jeans. Like the Bratz. Oh my God. Yeah. Bratz dolls. Ba- oh my God. When I was in junior high, Jinko jeans were the thing. Yeah. Pipe leg jeans is what they were referred to. Huge legs. Mm-hmm. And then you were to have like a um, kind of more of a cinched waist and kind of a more of a muscle shirt. On top, and a dog collar. Yeah, you that and a halter top and a mohawk and a halter, yeah. uh, a crop top. Yep. Okay. Do it. I remember I couldn't wear the Jinko jeans. I never had my size. We'll get you some. <laughs> I don't know. I think I've found what I like. I it's. I've been on a jean journey basically my entire life, because I never fit men's jeans. I do air quotes. Never really fit me. So I would wear uh, jeans from the women's section. Um, And I'm only just able to like, some places are having my size in men's jeans. And so I'm discovering having pockets for the first time. And I 
don't understand how people put so many things in their pockets because me i don't know well but then it seems bulky in the front there's mm. so many things yeah jeans really are not comfortable pants in general are a capitalist scam well, you can't the conclusion win. of the day. They don't, the they give you. capitalist scam. Yeah, because it's like, you give you pockets, go buy a purse too. Go well, buy I like else. having a tote bag. For sure. I can't wear a backpack because I have weak shoulders. Yeah. I get migraines. You're working on it. <laughs> You're doing exercises. Have, oh my God. I haven't had a headache since I started doing these, this like physical therapy exercise thing. Yeah. But it's only been a week. So stay tuned. He's cured. I know. If I don't, when was the last time you wore jeans? Sunday, when we went out to eat for your birthday. Yep. Saturday, when we went out to eat for your birthday. Yeah. Yeah. I don't wear, I don't wear jeans all summer, and then I don't, I don't do my job in jeans. I can't do that. I'll wear sweatpants. Mm-hmm. Jeans are a curse, but I love how I look in them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, final thoughts. Pants. Who's got them? Who wants them? Who needs them? Where can they go to find out more about pants? <laughs> um, ask your doctor. Ask your doctor. Ask which your pants doctor. Are right for pants you. are right for you. Right? Um, and, and firemen. Don't be af- don't be afraid to explore. When it comes to pants, don't be afraid to explore new types. Yeah. New fashions. Or or, or not, not wearing pants. them. Or no pants. Wear a dress. Wear a kilt. Wear whatever Tunics. you want. Why did we do pants? Um, I think I saw it on TikTok. <laughs> you saw about what TikTok. on TikTok? Something oh, about pants. You saw horse riding. Horse riding Someone and pants. Someone was talking about horse stuff. riding yeah. and pants. And then I said, let's do pants. Okay. Yeah. Well, we do appreciate you being here and hearing. <laughs> oh, us Blueberry about Doctor pants. said no. They called him already. No, oh I my don't. gosh. Holy, where do you wow. live that you can get a hold of your doctor so fast? Yeah. Oh, probably. What's when it? you were sick, it you waited on. For a telehealth visit for three hours. Well, it's probably um, got what's a one medical. Oh, uh, you just text mm, them. Just text them. Yep. Dear doctor, is it okay to wear pants? But they probably just say no to everything. Probably uh, take two acetaminophen and call me in the morning. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, thank you for listening to about pants. If you do want to learn more about pants, just remember. All this came from the Wikipedia, but there's tons more of information about this topic mm, out there. Mm. Like I said, there's also the um, Wikipedia page for uh, women in trousers and men in skirts. Check it out. Um, and thank you for listening to Quickie Wiki What. Once again, you will be able to find the VOD of this episode on YouTube as well as the audio wherever you get your podcasts. We will be streaming next week's episode live here again on twitch.tv slash half moon Joe. So we'll see you then with more wiki articles to discuss. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.